In Semantic Manager SFC1, that is the read PLC clock function is used for reading the current date and time value of the PLC. In the last video, we read the current date and time of the PLC using this SFC1 function and then we extracted the value of year, month and day from the PLC clock. Today we will continue from that point and we will be accessing or we will be extracting the value of the value of hour, second and minute, right? If you want to deeply understand the concept of how to read from the system clock function, you can refer to the previous video as well. But I will recap it for a while. The address of the date and time variable is 32. So the first byte of this date and time variable, the least significant byte whose address is 32, will have the value of the year. So in this network 2, I moved this load byte 32 value to temporary word and from temporary word I converted it, to in, it into integer that is the year value. Similarly I did the same process for month and day. In this video I will expand from that point. I will insert a new network and I will be extracting the value of hour minute and second because the current date and time variable that is the date and time variable one of the complex variable of PLC data types has the value for year month day hour minute second and milliseconds and even the day of the week so the least significant byte LB32 has year LB33 the, the next byte would have the value of month and the next byte, the next consecutive byte will have the value of day. And the byte that comes after the day byte will have the value of hour. So LB35 in this case will have the value of hour. So let me extract it. Well, I will bring from the library a move function. Over here I will write LB30 file and uh, I'll be storing the value into temp word because it's a temporary value and after I have extracted in this stage the extracted value is in BCD format so I have to convert it to integer BCD to integer because the value of hour over here is an integer I have defined previously in the previous video. Temp word and over here I will write R. Simple enough. Insert a simple uh, copy paste. Change it to LB 36 the next significant sorry the next consecutive byte will have the value of a minute I have already declared it in the variable declaration section and next up is the value of seconds so that would be in the byte 37 so the program has been completed for the extraction of hour minute and second let me re-explain it so that you can grasp the idea more clearly well in the in the first network I have inserted the SFC1 function and through this function we 
read the PLC clock and the value that it returns is in the date and time format that is the 64 bit data uh, uh, in PLC data types so this current DT I have stored in this variable at 32 address 32 is the address of this date and time variable now I start to fetch the bytes from that address the 32 so I load byte 32 to get the value of uh, year load by 33 to get the value of month day and so on so it's very simple so the project has been completed let me save it and download the program to the PLC I'm using a simulator in this case PLC download okay and the PLC I think is in the run mode I have to bring it to the stop mode to get the PLC program downloaded all right Dolby one now the program has been successfully downloaded let us switch to the run mode of the PLC and I will check the program status in the PLC so the very first network is, a, is accomplishing the task of reading the PLC clock so today is 26 of August 2022 so that is perfect and the time right now is 9 13 and 57 seconds so this is how we extract the year month day and then hour minute and second from the PLC clock hope you understood and it is very simple and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you for your patience see you in the next video